Unquestionably, the most enduring musical figure to emerge from the Dust Bowl era was a man named Woody Guthrie. Why was Woody so popular? What kind of songs did he sing? Woody Guthrie was born in Okima, Oklahoma in 1912. His father was the first county clerk in Okfusky County. By the standards of the day, his family was an average, middle-class family. At the age of six, Woody's sister died tragically in a kitchen accident. Not long after, his mother was stricken with Huntington's disease. Doctors of the time were unfamiliar with the disease, and as a result, she was placed in a mental institution. When Woody was 19, he moved to Pampa, Texas, and started performing with a band known as the Corncob Trio. However, in 1935, he packed up his belongings and headed west with the rest of the Okies. Along the way, he rode in boxcars and jalopies, going from Oklahoma to Kansas, Colorado, and California. During his journeys, he lived amongst the migrant workers, singing to them and about them. He sang to the people who were always too hot, too cold, too hungry, or too poor. He sang old hymns and folk songs, which comforted the migrants and reminded them of home and of simpler times. He also wrote his own music. Many of the songs he wrote were hard-hitting social commentaries about what he saw going on around him, the hardships people were facing, the unemployment, the hunger, and the diseases which ravaged them. As time progressed, the themes in his songs continued to become increasingly politicized. Much of his music advocated the sharing of wealth. He eventually became famous as a voice for the working class and a champion of worker rights. Many criticized his songs for these themes and some even accused him of being a communist. Woody genuinely believed in the ideals he sang about. He didn't believe in the personal ownership of his music. He always said, These songs didn't cost me anything to write, so you can have them if you want them. He also gave much of the money he made to those who needed it. Throughout his years living in California amongst the migrant workers, he held many different jobs. He painted signs, picked fruit, and washed dishes. He hosted a weekly radio show out of Los Angeles where he was billed as Oklahoma Woody. He even wrote a weekly newspaper column called Woody Says. In 1940, Woody left California and traveled to New York City. It was there that he wrote his most famous song, this Land is Your Land, as a protest song. It was also in New York where he finally recorded many of the songs he had been singing for years. RCA made a collection of Woody Guthrie music known as Dust Bowl Ballads. Unfortunately for Woody, he began exhibiting some of the early symptoms of Huntington's disease, the same illness which had inflicted his mother. By the early 1950s, his condition was so bad that he was no longer able to perform, and he spent the final years of his life in and out of the hospital. He died in 1967 at the age of 55. Woody Guthrie changed the world of American music forever. He was one of the first extremely influential singer-songwriters in American history. He inspired countless other songwriters who followed him, and continues to do so today.